Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today I'm here with the uniform distribution. Alright, so the uniform probability distribution is certainly one of the simplest distributions for a continuous random variable. Um, and the distribution is always rectangular shaped. And one of the keys, it is defined by these minimum and maximum values. In other words, we know that the random variable x will always exist um, between A and B. And when we talk about this distribution, we talk about it being inclusive of the endpoints. So let's say that A was equal to 5 and B was equal to 30. What I would end up saying is that the random variable X is uniformly distributed between 5 and 30, where both 5 and 30 are potential values of x. Because this is a continuous probability distribution, we have the ability to calculate both a mean and a standard deviation. When we calculate the mean of the distribution, we're simply going to take the value of b plus the value of a, and we're going to divide it by 2. What we're looking to do is to split this rectangle in half so, such that we have 50% of the data on the right side of the mean and 50% of the data below the mean. So we're literally just taking this distance from A to B and we're just going to split it right in half. We also have the ability to calculate a standard deviation for a uniform distribution. And so we're going to take the entire um, width of the distribution, so the distance from B to A, and what's unique here is that we're going to divide it by the square root of 12. Um, for those of you who are wondering, yes, it is always the square root of 12. Because this is a probability distribution, I have the ability to find the probability that the random variable x will take on um, any one of a number of values. And so when we look at our area of interest, the probability we're looking for, we define that by x2 and x1. So let's say that I was looking at the area between here and here. I wanted to find out what's the probability that I see a value of x that falls between these two points on the distribution. This will become x2, this will become x1. And I'll simply determine the distance between x2 and x1, and I'll divide it by the entire width of the distribution by subtracting b from a. The last um, and maybe the most important characteristic of this uniform distribution is it exists under the condition that our value of x will always be greater than or equal to a, less than or equal to b, and elsewhere it's going to be 0. So what we know is that a hundred percent of the values of x will fall between a and b. And what that means is, is that the probability that x is greater than b will always be equal to zero, and the probability that x is less than a will always be equal to zero. In other words, nothing exists on either side of the distribution because as we said at the beginning, this distribution is defined by a minimum and a maximum value. So don't get fooled or tricked into looking for probabilities out here or down here because they just don't exist. So I certainly hope that you found this useful today and thanks for watching.